Hello YouTubers, my name is Flexo013 and welcome to part 3 of our Extreme World Edit tutorial. This time I'll be showing you how to change your selection or the blocks in your selection. Okay, first we need to make a selection, so left click over here and right click over here. That's 50 blocks. Nice. Okay. The first command we will discuss is the slash slash set command. This command will set the blocks in your selection to a certain block. So I could say glass over here. And now they turn into glass. Or maybe I want diamonds. Then I could say set diamond. And as you can see, this works perfectly fine. But if you want something like wool and you want a certain color wool, then you would do slash slash wool colon let's say like, let's say black. But that that's a lot to type. So the creators of World Edit found something for that, and that is using the block IDs. So for instance, if you want glass, which I know uh, straight away is there uh, there has a uh, glass block has the ID number 20. So if I do slash slash set 20, that has the same effect as slash slash set glass, as you can see right now. For wool, this would be, or black wool, for instance, would be 35 colon 15, because uh, the number of black wool is 15. Or if I would make it red, it would be 14. All of these ID numbers you can find on a list. I will post a link to a, a great list that has always been up to date for now. Uh, you can find the IDs over there, but you can also just type if you don't feel like finding the ID. Okay, so the next thing is randomizing blocks in your selection. Right now I only have red wool. Let's say we want a random pattern of diamond blocks and gold blocks. So that would be slash slash set diamond comma gold. This will change 50% of the blocks in diamond and 50% in gold. As you can see. And it randomized. I'm not and uh, now we can see that pretty much half of it is diamond and half of it is gold. To change this, we will. Uh, oh, let me set the time today again. Otherwise, it will become night. Okay. Um. Let's say you see we have uh, this uh, selected area over here, and we want to count how many golden and diamond blocks there are in this in our selection. For this, we have the slash distribution command, or for short, slash slash distr. This, this will uh, show you the distribution. 24 uh, blocks are diamond and uh, fi uh, 26 blocks are uh, gold blocks. And it, they even give you the IDs of the blocks that in, in your selection. So you could uh, select something really big and... Oh, I will just show you. The, another way to select uh, something like the entire chunk you're in is that slash slash chunk command. Now I have selected the chunks with the coordinates 2.0. So if I now do slash slash distribute it will give me an entire list of gold lapis, gold blocks that's on the top here on surface diamond block but you can see in this uh, column we have a lot of air since it will go all the way up to the top to the height limit and we have a lot of stone, some dirt, bedrock, gravel, coal but as you can see there is no diamond ore in this chunk so this is a really really handy way to check if there is diamond in a certain chunk but I uh, I advise you to not set an entire chunk to something like glass blocks but because most servers cannot handle such uh, huge block edits since we have uh, 6,536 5, blocks selected which is quite a lot some servers can handle it some will lag a few seconds and then continue their normal business so um, 
I do not advise you uh, to do uh, these big world edits because they will most likely crash the server. Okay, then the next command I will uh, talk about is slash slash replace. Let's say I have a window in my house that looks like this. But I don't want it to be uh, made out of glass blocks, but out of glass panes. So we first um, look for the item ID of glass panes, which we can easily do by slash slash search item glass pane. And there it says 102 is the ID for glass pane. So we have this entire wall selected right now. And we can do slash slash replace. And then we would replace our uh, regular glass block, which is 20, by the new block, which is 102. And there we go. The glass blocks turns into glass panes. I could also just remove them by uh, re uh, replacing the glass panes by regular air. As you can see right now. Or I could replace the air inside by a combination of uh, white wool and then a comma and black wool. Oh wait, I did that wrong. You cannot do that. Um, you can just replace it by wool. Or did I? Yeah, I forgot a slash. That's what. That's what went wrong. There we go. You see? It now turned into a random. It changed all b blocks of air into a random combination of uh, black and white wool. And if I uh, want to change the white wool into black wool, I could just do slash slash replace white wool to black wool and so on. You can uh, do any combination of uh, block IDs in that certain command. Okay, then let's say you uh, just made uh, made this entire window of, of black wool but you liked uh, you didn't mean to do that so you want to undo your last world edit how do you do that simply do slash slash undo this will go uh, remove your last world edit command and you can do this a lot of times as you can see I just didn't change them back into air and now they're glass panes again, and now they're glass blocks again. But let's say this is one too far back, so I want my glass panes again. What do I do? Slash slash redo, which will go one step further in your uh, in your history of changing blocks with world edit. So uh, what? Let's say you want to clear your history. I do. N I'm not sure why you would. I would do this. I have never used it myself, but uh, to make this uh, list entirely complete, I will uh, still discuss the command. It's slash clear history. Oh, uh, history. Now it says history cleared. So if I do slash slash redo, it does nothing. Slash slash undo also does nothing because I cleared my entire history. Now one more uh, very very useful uh, thing in world edit is the slash slash walls command. Let's say I want a house. I only need to select two blocks and do. I will show it from the uh, top. Slash slash walls. Let's say I want them out of wood. Oh, wood is has the idea of five. And there we go. We got ourselves walls. And let's say I want a roof as well. So let's first get a torch over here. And do slash slash. Oh no, I have to place a torch over there. You'll see why. Slash slash faces will not only turn the walls into wood, but also the bottom and the floor. As you can see, I have a floor made out of wood and a ceiling made out of wood. 
and then you can add windows and a door but it's a really handy way to build build houses really really fast so uh, this was our uh, the part where you, or uh, part 3 of the extreme world edit tutorial and um, I hope to see you guys on part 4 of the world edit tutorial uh, see you there